All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, use Nero to uh, convert your AVI files to DVD format so you can burn them on a DVD. So let's show here. There we go. We got some AVIs right here. So we're going to take these and we're going to show you how to convert these AVIs to DVD format. So first, uh, you go ahead and get Nero Vision. It's also free if you search for it on Google. If you're not going to get version 4, you'll get version 3, but it's free. And it'll work just as good. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to make DVD. If you don't have a DVD burner, then you can always write to a CD. Depending on your DVD player, if it will play video CDs or whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and make DVD video. And the cool thing about this is you can select, I don't know, let's try I'm a legend. I'm a legend. See, there's I'm a legend. And let's do astronaut form. And we're going to have two DVDs or two movies on one full DVD. We could probably put another one, but depending on how long the movie time is, you can only have up to like two or three at the most. As you can see, the movie time was too long, so we have to remove Rush Hour 3. Okay, so we got these two. I'm going to go ahead and select this, and I'm going to show you how to create chapters for this real fast. You can select this button right here, and this will automatically select chapters on certain parts of the movie. It takes a while, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel it. If you don't want to wait a while, you can just click here, add chapter, click here, add chapter, click here, add chapter, and so on. If you mess up, you can always click this button and delete all chapters. But see how I got my chapters right there? All right, so we'll go ahead and go next. We'll say that's done. And then if you want to do that, you select this one, create chapters, and you'll start creating chapters for that one too. Say you want to edit the movie. So we're going to go to I'm Legend. You can't really see it when I play it. See, you can't see the, you can see it's playing, but you can't see it on this video. But yeah, I'm playing the movie right now. And some cool things you could do is you can add effects to the movie, as well as you can add your own text, like you can make it bouncing, scrolling across, right across the screen. Do like a little Star Wars effect, or you need to do, as well as you can add your own audio to it down here. And then right here would be your effects, and then your text. So you can do some pretty cool stuff with this. Oh, we gotta stop this. Problems with injuries. So after that, you click next. You could do that same as this, add your own effects or whatnot. Click next after that. Now we can select our own menu. Let's go ahead and click that. We do layout. You can change different layouts, like if you want them all like that. You can put chapters through here. I'm just going to put disc, so I can select which disc I want. You can add your own background. Let's add a little gizmo guy. There we go. It's my little gizmo guy. You can edit your buttons. If you want a star for buttons or whatnot, you can do that. You can add font, change your font. You can change the header from my disc to uh, good movies. Let's do that. There we go. Good movies. You notice it says good movies. You can also add a footer. You can add shadows. You can do all kinds of stuff. So we're going to leave it like this, add a little gizmo, click next, now we got our, click next after that, and now we can go ahead and click this, and then it'll be put in play mode, so we can click like, down. Against it. see, we're talking about a virus, indeed, yes, in this case, the so we'll go ahead and go back, we'll click menu, go back to the menu, so if we sit there and we put over the mouse like that and we click that, now we can select chapters. Well, let's go ahead and go next. What I like to do is I like to write to the hard drive instead of burn right to the disk. Just in case I need to make another copy for a friend, I don't have to re, uh, what's the word I'm going to try to say? 
I don't have to uh, put it back in DVD format, which takes a while, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and write it to Movies, uh, DVD, Mix. You can burn it right to disc if you want, but it's easier to do this just in case you have to rewrite it for a friend or a family member. Now, as you see right here, this is the total time right here. Total progress is going to take about two hours. This shows you the preview up here. This is telling you the current progress. This is doing I'm Legend right now. It's transcoding it. It's going to take about an hour. So once this gets done, this will probably be halfway right here. And then it'll start on the other movie you have. And you can select your priority. You have some more options down there. When you're doing the conversion like this, the only option you have is to make covers and labels. So we'll just leave that like that. But after it gets done, your movies, let me go ahead and cancel this. This is what the cover looks like. You can make your own CD cover, print, case, everything. This software allows you to do it. Once you do that, your movie will be exactly where it was. DVD, mix, uh, and then you'll have your video files. These are actual DVD files. And you can use this to also burn these files as well. I use different software, but Yes, this will burn it and it works good. Then you can save your project or you can start a new one. Um, and just start all over again. It's a pretty neat software, you should check it out. Um, if you have any questions about any other tutorials or how to do anything or you want me to explain something just a little bit more, go ahead and send me a message or comment my videos please. Alright, I'll see you next time. Thanks.